Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for consultantly supporting national caterers who uh, contributed over the decades to the government service. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also expressed pride and appreciation for the Royal Trust and national caterers who are able to assume the responsibility of continuing government work and developing its outputs to achieve His Majesty's visions and aspirations in accordance with His Majesty's Comprehensive Development March for the development, prosperity and welfare of the citizens. His Royal Highness said that Team Bahrain and all the nation's constitutional institutions, including the executive, legislative, and judicial, private and civil sectors, citizens and residents, are inspired by His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness expressed the aspirations uh, to make more gains and achievements in various sectors to enhance Bahrain's advanced position at all levels. His Royal Highness pledged the, to continue serving His Majesty, defending the interests of the country and its people and achieving more progress, prosperity and development, praying to Allah the Almighty bless his, to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King hailed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's dedicated efforts in serving Bahrain and spearheading its development across all fields. In the cable, His Majesty the King praised His Royal Highness's strenuous drive to develop the government's work for the sake of the kingdom and its loyal people. His Majesty the King said he looked forward to more efforts and fruitful work in the coming stage to achieve the aspirations of the loyal people of Bahrain, accomplish development goals, preserve national achievements and continue the process of construction and progress in all fields and sectors. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 25 of the year 2022, reshuffling the cabinet as follows. Article 1, the second article of Royal Decree number 61 of the year 2018, forming the ministry is repealed. Article 2, the decree stipulates the following appointments. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure. Jamil bin Muhammad Ali Hamidan, Labour Minister. Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, Industry and Commerce Minister. Wa'il bin Nasr Al Mubarak, Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Minister. Dr. Muhammad bin Mubarak bin Dana, Minister of Oil and Environment. Muhammad bin Thamar Al Kabi, Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications. Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj, Works Minister. Yusuf bin Abd Al Hussein Khalaf, Legal Affairs Minister. Usama bin Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfur, Social Development Minister. Yasser bin Ibrahim Hamidan, Electricity and Water Affairs Minister. Dr. Jalila bin Tasayyid Jawad Hassan, Health Minister. Nawaf bin Muhammad Al Maouda, Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister. Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, Cabinet Affairs Minister. Amna bin Ahmed Al Ramehi, Housing and Urban Planning Minister. Noor bin Ali Al Khlaif, Sustainable Development Minister. Fatma bin Jafar Al Sayrafi, Tourism Minister. Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Al Naimi, Information Affairs Minister. Article 3, the Prime Minister shall implement this decree which takes effect upon its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 24 of the year 2022, amending some provisions of Decree 65 of 2006 on the establishment of the Institute of Public Administration, the BIPA. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the cabinet members at Ghibiya Palace. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude to the cabinet members who have the honor of serving the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that each member of the cabinet has made an outstanding contribution to the kingdom's comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness stressed that the cabinet members' contribution to the kingdom's achievements is highly valued and that efforts will continue to further Bahrain's progress and development for the benefit of its citizen.
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent cables of congratulations to Health Minister Dr. Jalila bint Sayyid Jawad Hassan, Housing and Urban Planning Minister Amna bint Ahmed Al Ramehi, Sustainable Development Minister Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, and Tourism Minister Fatma bint Jafar Al Sayrafi. Following the issuance of a royal decree on reshuffling the cabinet, Her Royal Highness congratulated the new female ministers, expressing pride and the great support enjoyed by by Bahraini women as a result of the political leadership's belief in their distinguished ability to hold top decision-making positions. Her Royal Highness wished the new minister's success in carrying out the tasks entrusted to them within the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to contribute to developing the kingdom and serving the citizens and residents. Her Royal Highness also wished them success in undertaking their duties to the fullest to better represent Bahraini women's determination, dedication and distinction in light of the unwavering support of His Majesty the King. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the achievements made in the equestrian sport is thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the outstanding accomplishments of Team Victorious after earning the first title in the Royal Ascot Festival. His Highness said that this festival is one of the strongest international events that brings together jockeys from all around the world. He hailed the record of the kingdom in the field of equestrian sport and said that this achievement is an addition to the series of achievements in the kingdom. His Highness praised the efforts of coach Art Watson and the efforts of jockey Holly Dwell in making this accomplishment and affirming that this will motivate to make more achievements. He's at the gate which was, which was frustrating but to begin with I thought I was drawn on the wrong side to be honest but once I slid into that handy position on the girths of them, I knew the further I'd go the better and two down I was pretty confident because they're all sitting ducks and I thought let's get on with this and see what you can do and he responded very well. Well, off the back of that performance, um, the world is oyster but you've got to realise that he was a, a, a 12 grand yearling and a £37,000 breeze up so it goes to show no matter what you pay if you find a good one they can bring you here. <laughs> The Wilson Center has hosted the Representatives Council Speaker Fozia Zain in an open debate attended by U.S. politicians and researchers. The speaker highlighted the transition of Bahraini women from empowerment and advancement to progress in all fields, thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King. The speaker highlighted the qualitative efforts led by Her Royal Highness, uh, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, that contributed to the advancement of Bahraini women. She added that uh, Bahraini women have reached the highest positions based on their competence, character and skill. Wilson Center officials said that Bahrain's experience and the various initiatives launched by Her Royal Highness should be studied as a source of inspiration for women both in Bahrain and across the globe. The Representatives Council Speaker Fozia Zainal headed a, a parliamentary delegation on a visit to the U.S. to meet the House Intelligence Committee and affirmed that Bahrain, thanks to the wise vision and directors of His Majesty the King, has harnessed the innovations of the modern era and the finest digital systems to accelerate the pace of progress in a way that promotes comprehensive development. She added that the COVID pandemic and its wide effects have highlighted the importance of using artificial intelligence and technology advances to keep working across all sectors and to facilitate social life. She said that the proactive steps taken by Bahrain have enabled the kingdom to transform challenges into opportunities, thanks to the efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Zainal affirmed the Parliament's keenness to exchange expertise with the U.S. Congress, establish open communications in all fields, and active channels of cooperation. The Congressman affirmed that Bahrain is a strategic U.S. ally with extended and deep-rooted relations. A parliamentary delegation visiting the U.S. was held or has held a panel discussion with senior officials and researchers at the Middle East Institute in Washington. The discussion covered Bahrain's foreign relations, the role of parliamentary diplomacy in deepening ties, addressing various issues and contributing to strengthening development efforts that could lead to stability and better future. The delegation reviewed relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and the advancement cooperation and broad partnership in all fields. The delegation highlighted the importance of bolstering joint working mechanisms and exchanging experiences between the Council of Representatives and the U.S. Congress. 
The Ministry of Industry and Commerce has signed a cooperation agreement with the World Intellectual Property Organization on the development of Intellectual Property Office business services. This agreement provides development services and programs to support intellectual property protection in Bahrain. It emphasizes the importance of training workers in intellectual property, transferring knowledge and exchanging of experiences and data needed to develop the intellectual property system and strengthening the global competitive assets index and developing services related to the protection of intellectual property rights and achieving the Sustainable Development Goals.